Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be trying a new challenge. Well, it's not a new challenge. It's a very old challenge created by Sidmec. I think she created that challenge a few years ago, actually. But I would love to try that challenge today. Now, the rules of this challenge is actually extremely simple. You build a house and you furnish the house using only white swatches. And then only afterwards, you go ahead and change the swatches of whatever it is you have placed and used and whatever. So all that we're gonna do here is go to colors and we're gonna go to the white swatch and you're only gonna be able to use well the plainest of white that you can possibly use and only afterwards when it comes to well coloring in the house you, you go to the exact same swatch that you use and you see which colorway you can use to replace that white swatch with but it has to be the exact same item basically paint or floor towel it doesn't matter but anyway so before we get into the coloring part of everything we're first gonna figure out the figure or the form of our house the shape of it so yeah I've, I've been thinking i'm gonna build a smallish looking house but it's gonna be maybe a little bit modern i'm not sure we'll see how this goes i'm gonna build it all the way to here we can maybe add a room over here this is gonna be a funny shaped house but i mean we are just gonna trust the process so we can have a little porch going over here maybe spice it up just a little bit you know what i'm actually very bored of that style i'm just gonna keep everything as square as freaking possible because i want to be boring today all right let's bring it over to there we can have the exact same roof going this way this is gonna annoy the living freaking crap out of me you know this not being coherent but i mean it looks fine if you put the roof like that you know maybe just extend this room yeah you know i can work with that honestly so this is the rooftops that we have in terms of white now i don't really want to look at these colors over here which will give me the idea of what i can use well when we color the house but i am gonna go with this roof type because i don't want to do any metal roofing i just want to have a normal ass roof going in for the white swatch and in terms of the exterior i don't know if we're gonna go for white or plain what is this oh my god definitely not uh, are we gonna go with the wood i do not know maybe this you know maybe we can roll with this over here i'm not exactly sure which swatches we can choose from the head wallpaper we're gonna go in for the windows real quick we're gonna go white of course uh, these windows are too tall for that door's height these windows are too big but i suppose we can use a few of them around the house like on the side here one there two at the back here because over here i would like to have a little bathroom going interior door wise we can go with these plain doors kitchen might be on this side because I do not want to have the kitchen closest to the bathroom door. You know what? I'll go with these windows. I mean, they're plain and simple enough. We can ha obviously have some planter boxes, but I mean, most of these things are, well, not plain white, but that's okay. You know, we can still just change the colors of our planter boxes. Oh, I kind of like it in white. I mean, some of the things I might actually keep white. Maybe we should play with awnings. I don't know if we should add any awnings. Obviously not things like this. Like this this is just way too fancy for the style of home that we're going for. And I don't even know what style of home we're going for. Like, what's what style is this? Suburban? I don't know. Could we have this on the side? Yeah, we could, definitely. I know they're already colored, but that's okay. Like, it, it kind of helps me to figure out what to do with the rest of the house now. Foundation is automatically white, but we have to choose something specific. How about this one over here? This one has more swatches to choose from for when we color in the house. Alrighty, dude. Everything is as white as crack. Um. I mean snow, sorry. Everything is as white as snow for the beginning, but that is gonna change soon, don't worry. What? Yeah, I think it's this one that suits the railings there or the balustrades of the steps or the stairs, the staircase. I suppose we can go in with this wood, plain and white enough. I would love to use these, uh, what do they call these drain pipes? Yeah, drain pipes. They are so subtle, you know, but they, they add a little bit of character to a house as well now and then. Like, I just love them so much. I don't use them as often. Like, I only use them generally when I do challenges like this. That's only when I really see them or notice them. All right, as we know, plants generally, you know, they're all green. So I think I'm gonna 
place my plants already although there's not much in terms of swatches to change with these plants so i think i'm gonna place them as i would generally and also in terms of spray paint for the pathways uh we cannot do this in any plain way at all so we're gonna have to go with the colors that we already have maybe these couches i know they're actual couches they're not meant for the outdoors although they are in the outdoor category so i suppose it will be okay to use them for the outdoors oh i would love to use these outside but where hanging from the roof brilliant okay <laughs> it's still a little bit too empty on this porch maybe we can add some more seating could maybe have this chair on a little angle and maybe a planter box that's adorable i think and then we should not forget about our mailbags this is actually a nice trash can so do you think we're gonna go ahead and change the colors yeah let's do that all right so this roof tile is this one over here let's see i'm so glad i actually went with this because you know it has a black swatch we're gonna go in for a roof trim that is dark as well luckily i remembered to actually add a roof trim because i don't really think you can actually change things afterwards again like change a different item or anything so you're gonna have to go with what you have you know so this window up here can oh i kind of like that i don't know why i kind of vibe with it this door can be dark you know before we go in for the windows let's see what horrendous swatches this wallpaper has uh over here oh my gosh like i said we could keep some stuff white but it but it just is fun to paint everything that you can possibly paint you know that's the fun of the challenge are we are we gonna have this caramel house? I don't know. I really do not know. Our planter box, I feel, can be darker. This thing can have a darker thing over there. This can maybe be green. Gosh, it's still so gosh dang bright. Okay, we have this chair here as well. This one can be a simple green and white swatch, perhaps. This planter box can be dark. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and change the window frames to being a darkish color as well. I found foundation is this one over here the woody i think we could perhaps go black on this one staircase we use the first staircase over here so maybe replacing it with a darker one could do for us i don't know the balustrade over here is this plain one can i maybe just yeah there you go can maybe go with black and white this fence wait this cannot be the same fence for that balustrade can it no it's not the same fence but i i don't think we can change it again oh my gosh so we're gonna have to go with this one and then we still have this floor over here so we use this cats and dogs floor tile we can maybe go in for a dark brown or maybe even darker like black that does look brown in any case so yeah okay i just want to play around with this swatch just a little bit more before we go into the interior blue red ah uh, you know in a sense it's adorable but it just doesn't work a dark color extremely dark house no a lighter brown absolutely freaking not this color seems like a color that i can work with now these awnings over here already have their original colors yeah okay you know i am not the most fond of this house as a whole like i do not like well mostly everything about the exterior of this house hopefully the interior does better okay so over here i said would be a kitchen we shall start with white swatches only of course <laughs> okay maybe these ones i think i might give us a stove top for this house i know it's maybe not fitting to the style of the house but adding a full-on stove with this window is also not gonna work no unless we put it on this side have the stove next to the fridge i don't care okay with the kitchen finished i think we can go over to the living room area and yes i think i'm gonna do a living room instead of a dining area mm, okay this is supposed to be mounted against the wall sadly maybe we can still have it somewhere in this house so okay so i don't know if this is enough items for a living room i honestly think it is because this is a biggish home and you do want to provide some walking space for your sims as well so let's not go too crazy with the cluttering well, this over here can be a main bedroom i suppose we can have this bed from horse ranch i have no idea which swatches this bed has for us but we're gonna see by the time that we color in the house i honestly <laughs> I'm not a fan of this challenge because, you know, you don't know where the house is going because you can only build 
enrolled in the white swatch like this is actually honestly hard i mean look what happened to the exterior i do not like the wall paint that i used for the exterior i wish i could bulldoze this whole house honestly i just wish i could do that and i can and start over but i mean what's the point in it well where's the fun in not seeing how a house will turn out you know if you do that i mean you cannot destroy everything in life that does not look good if that makes any sense like sometimes you have to have something that's a little bit imperfect for once and yeah that is well the beauty of it all i think this main bedroom at least is looking good i might want to use different windows for this one but yeah like i said it's it's just not necessary to bulldoze everything <laughs> that you don't like or it's not always necessary to start over because you don't like how something looks so far honestly with these kinds of challenges i'm afraid to say trust the process because you just actually don't know how it will turn out i mean you can choose between the swatches that your chosen item has but i mean you cannot change the item again that's the thing you're gonna have to go with either of those swatches which that item provides for you you're gonna have to go with one of those uh we could maybe go with this fluffy rug oh i would love to use that oh that's absolutely nice oh i forgot to do the the living room um yeah, that's not completely white. So let's go with, yeah, per perhaps this one. Because it is kind of light enough. Yeah, and then we can have the tiles on that wall and on this one over here. Great freaking stuff. Yeah, I'm not excited to color in this house. Honestly, like, I'm already upset with the exterior, as I said before. Ugh, what am I doing? We have to go in with the white swatch. Because we're not supposed to see what these items has to offer. Maybe this one. I suppose the kitchen can have some wooden tiles as well. That's fine with me. This is gonna be a kid's bedroom. We can go in for maybe the fluffy rug again. I kind of love the fluffy rug. Okay, maybe not. It's a little bit too much. Bathroom, obviously gonna have some plain white tiles. Okay, is this considered as white now? Because, I mean, it's under the white swatch. I don't know. Let's just go with this plain plain one then if we're a little bit unsure hmm, which we are okay we can have a kitty bed okay maybe not so tucked away we could have it over here maybe and have another bed underneath this bed yeah okay that's that's plain enough we can have a white kitty cat plushie because i mean it's white i don't know if i'm gonna do any wall posters and stuff beforehand because most of these things has color in them maybe we could use the same wallpaper that we have in the kitty's room in this main room as well hopefully there's a good color there that we can use i doubt it though i'm gonna size this dollhouse down by one size just to have some more walking space here but don't worry the dollhouse is still functional here we have a white toy chest no i think that's enough rugs honestly because we already have the matte flooring yeah no i think that's good enough let's go over to the bathroom we can use this with something i actually think i'm gonna take this door away here to have some more space in the bathroom yeah we can have this as a little something for our bathtub maybe little bathtub over there toilet can be over here put in a little hand towel over there maybe we can have a plant in the corner here like it's really not necessary but i just feel so empty in this bathroom i feel like we could at least have a plant there somewhere okay let's go ahead and do the coloring part oh my gosh all right so this kitchen i th i kind of feel like i want to keep the white countertops but let's maybe take the brown for a test drive i know i'm changing everything to either brown or black with this house but i mean if it looks better than anything else then why not well to me at least um so yeah we can have light brown cabinets this can stay white the fridge can stay white the stove can also obviously you know stay white the wall tiles for the kitchen i think i'm also gonna keep white or maybe we can go in for the black yeah like it really doesn't matter i think the white was fine and yeah it is nice to paint everything that you possibly can paint but i'm pretty sure you are allowed to keep some of the stuff you know the plain white color so maybe we can go with the brown flooring i feel like that is all right looking this thingy over here also has a few swatches that we can choose from the waffle maker maybe red 
sure. You know, at this point, I don't even care anymore because, gosh, it's so hard to work with only white. And oh my gosh, we had to pick a curtain that has horrible swatches. <laughs> we could go for the ladybug, but I'm not that crazy. I kind of like the green. I feel like that could fit with something. Obviously not this green. Oh my gosh. You know, perhaps our curtains could stay the light color for our sanity, you know. These sofas are colorful, which is actually kind of handy. But I'm not vibing with either of these swatches oh no seriously is there something that has a little bit of green in it i i don't think so i i think we're gonna have to go with the white sofas oh and then we also have the doors but you know they can also actually stay white but we could you know just for the colors sake you know of this challenge just change them to a different color this little coffee table is a table i use a lot so i actually know what swatches it has i just love using it for the size of it it's not too intrusive in any kind of house well i definitely don't want this to be plain white i want it to be white and a different color uh how about this one we can make the dark brown sure the frame of this can be dark as well yeah okay no i don't i don't know i really don't think so maybe a lighter frame okay the swatches that we can pick from isn't that bad for this wall paint green pink maybe you know the soft pink or the dirtyish pink look can actually work i feel stick it around to where it's supposed to go i really do not like this house at freaking all but yeah i'm pretty sure this this challenge has to do with not being able to change anything after you have colored it in. Alright, so this fluffy rug over here can either stay white or it can have these birthday streamers on them. You know, I don't know. Plain black maybe? Let's see how this goes. The bed I was most intrigued with. Like, what swatches does this one have? Um, good swatches. Oh, I kind of like that. I just don't like the cow print at the back there. Oh, the sheep is kind of cute, but no, we're not five years old. Uh, the red could maybe do... These little pillows over here, I know they're extremely colorful. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep them black and white. This chair could maybe be red to match the, the bed. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I like that swatch even better. These lights are very mundane in color or just plain, actually. So they can be anything, honestly. Maybe we could go with a different swatch here. But yeah, okay, I think this is the best that this horrifying bedroom is gonna get. We still need to do the walls. Luckily, there is still something that can possibly save this room so let's see what we have here so we have this obnoxious red color i mean it's not that obnoxious it kind of works because of the theme that we already have going on another part of the room can probably be the darker part of the swatches i don't know i'm really confused with what i'm actually doing like this yeah the curtains can still be changed well we have a reddish swatch for the curtains but i'm not that freaking crazy we can go with something dark, you know, something plain. I don't know. Yeah, I'm done with this bedroom. I just don't want to spend any second longer staring at this bedroom because it's going to make me want to bulldoze the whole house. And I've already come so far, so no. <laughs> the kids' bedroom, you know, could probably have a different color swatch in curtains. Maybe blue. Wait, I forgot to change the windows at the back here. Oopsie daisy. So this dollhouse can have some color to it, you know, although it is mainly white. We can have a pink dresser. Oh, okay, that's nice. We have two white white and pink dressers which is cute uh we have this toy box you can have that swatch this oh that's cute the yellow and the pink how about the rainbows the kitty cat i suppose can have a different color now oh yeah okay pink perfect although you know we chose the blue curtains maybe we can go with a blue carpet and the walls which is the same as in the parents bedroom we luckily have a pink swatch in that but you know this is uh this is horrible. Like, how do how do you save this? I don't think you can save this. Green? Um, this could then be that, maybe? That green and pink? That? Soft pink? I don't know. I'm hating everything about this house. I don't... Yeah, I think that's the best we're gonna get it. Okay, the bathroom is gonna be pretty simple. The bath can actually stay white. Blue towels, at least. Nice. Does the toilet paper have any good swatches? Yeah, sure, we can go with the brownish, goldish thingy over there. Oh yeah, and then we have these little things. Uh, they could probably be this light brown. Let's see what other swatches this does have. 
blue is there anything that's gonna match the blue in terms of our wall tiles okay yeah you know that kind of works well i am honestly freaking sick to my stomach i <laughs> I do not like this house. Frankly, I hate it. I do not want it. I want to bulldoze it. I don't want to spend any second longer looking at this house, but oh well, you know what? That's 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 a challenge. That is what a challenge is. You're either happy with how it turns out or not. Anyway, so let's go through the front door. Oh, here we have the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, here we have the living room. Not really fond of it. The only thing I like about this living room is this part over here. Like, that's all I like and this thing over here like this situation i like that actually anyway oh wait let's go through the kitchen first to get to the main bedroom all right so this is the obnoxious red horse ranch bedroom um yeah i'm, I'm, I'm not happy with it at all at all let's go over to the kitty's bedroom oh god yeah my eyes immediately started to burn as soon as i entered this bedroom we have two bunk beds i didn't really give them anything else because it's just it, it kind of is hard to furnish everything when everything is white it feels like you sometimes forget to add something and i think i definitely forgot to add a lot in this bedroom uh, but yeah we're not gonna talk about it are we no we're not into the bathroom you know the bathroom is probably Probably the best looking room in this whole godforsaken house like honestly i don't think we have better than this bathroom at this point but yeah anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one